Hello, and welcome to a Dyson Sphere program guide. Dyson Sphere program just had an update, and I wanted to make a quick guide on how the proliferator and spray coders work. I think these additions are both going to make huge changes to how the game is played and how we build our factories. And if you're looking for more guides like these, please subscribe. I'm planning on making many more. Okay, first let's talk about how they're unlocked. So let's go to our tech tree. So they're right here with the Proliferator Mark 1. This will grant you the Proliferator Mark 1 and the Spray Coder, the building that is used to add the Proliferator to items. And what this is going to do is it's going to give you either a production upgrade or a speed upgrade on each item, but you need each item to be sprayed by the proliferator. Mark 1 requires 200 blue science, which isn't too much. You'll also need the semiconductors and the high efficiency plasma, since plasma exciters and semiconductors are required to make the spray coders. The Mark 2 is unlocked with 800 blue science and 600 red science, and that gets you the Mark II, which is a little bit better, and those also require processors. And the Mark III is unlocked with 800 blue science, 600 red science, 400 yellow science, and you also need the high strength material unlocked because the proliferator Mark III does require carbon nanotube. So, now that we have them unlocked, let's talk about how they work. So, the buildings can be placed, the spray coders can be placed on the ground, or, you have a belt going, you can place them yourself. You can also rotate them with R, so they're all lined up appropriately, and then you can also put the belt underneath. So the items down low, they're what gets sprayed, and then up top, you get your proliferator going through this top portion, kind of like a splitter. Then you can take, I'm going to go, let's take you, you take whatever you want and then you can spray it and then it's going to get these markings on the side. I'm using mark 3, so there's three markings. If you use mark 2, there's going to be two of these markings. If you use mark 1, I'm going to use one of these markings. Next we're going to I'm going to show you a little demonstration on how each level works. So in each building, what you're going to find is a brand new toggle. Extra products, production speed up. Remember, you can get either one or the other, not both at the same time. So extra products utilizes, it spits out more product. And production speed up uses more products to make products faster. So we're just going to demonstrate First, the extra products. I'm going to put 400 or in each of these. Not spray coated or plain or. That's another thing you can see in your inventory what has been spray coated. Has that little little tick mark there. So we got none, mark one, mark two, mark three. Let's let it rip. And we'll check back in a second. And we're back. So, we turned 100 ore into 100 plate up here. No surprise there. We turned 100 ore into 112 plate, and we get an extra little half because this is a 12.5%. We turned 100 ore into 120 ore with the Mark II and 100 ore into 125 plate with the 
Mark III. So when you're set to the extra products, you're going to put in the same amount of products as normal, but you get out more products. Same amount plus whatever um, spray you're coating your stuff with. So now let's go to the speed setting. I've cleared out these boxes. I've added 100 ore to each of these boxes. So let's go ahead and switch our machines. I guess this doesn't really matter if it's if it's on speed up because it's not going to be accelerated. Put that on speed up. Put that on speed up. Put that on speed up and let it rip. What we're going to notice is that this is flying. 120 a minute. 90 a minute. 75 a minute and 60 a minute. This isn't gonna make you have stuff faster. Or it's not gonna have you. Yeah. It's not gonna give you more stuff. It's going to give you stuff faster, which means it's also going to deplete stuff faster. So we're here. We're already at 10. This has 22. This has 28. This has 34. So if you're looking for speed, obviously set it to the speed mode. If you're looking to get more out of a node, get more out of your production process, you're going to want to use the production setting. Something that you also have to consider though is that this is now going to be an input in your production process. The proliferator, it sprays, each one sprays 12 items, right? And you can see that number of sprays 12 times. The Mark II sprays 24 times, and then the Mark III sprays 60 times. Something else to note, if you have something with multiple inputs, you need to make sure everything is sprayed, otherwise you will not get any bonus. But definitely another fun layer that's, that was added to the game. I'm uh, looking forward to playing around more with this um, in the future. So. If you like what you saw here, be sure to subscribe. I plan on making more videos like these. I also stream on Twitch Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment or drop in chat. I am always eager to help out people um, trying to figure some, uh, some stuff out in this video game. So that's all for me and take care.